Hi guys, have you ever tested aloe vera in your life? Yes, if you've ever, why not give to your birds? This is Katabs once again on YouTube channel. Welcome to this channel, welcome to this video, and welcome to my life. Welcome to the life of a farmer. Today we're going to talk about the uses, the properties of aloe vera. What do you need aloe vera for in your poultry farm? Aloe vera is a magical plant. Here it is. Stick on the video, watch till the end, and don't forget to like the video if it is important. Click the like button, subscribe if you are new on this channel, and if you are not new, I have been watching, you can share the more, as more as you want. When you get an aloe vera, look at it, the aloe vera like this. Because whenever you see a taps with a panga, don't get scared. I, that's my farm too. So this aloe vera, this, it has a girl inside. It makes it special because it, it has the healing properties. Once you put it on any wound, it gets healed. And I'm very sure you know the diseases of poultry that have wounds. One of them is fallpox. Fallpox has always wounds on the, on, on the cobs, on the mouth, so on the eyes. If such a wound is there, you just apply the girl and the wound goes straight away. You apply in the morning, afternoon and evening and the wound goes away. How, how do you apply it? You make sure that if a bird is sick, you isolate from other birds. Put in a sick bed or maybe somewhere else, then you keep applying the girl. Aloe vera is 98% water or liquid. And again, it is only 2% solid form. In that 2%, it is where you find all the minerals and vitamins in the same plant. These vitamins of all types include vitamin A, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, B6. All vitamins, vitamin K, vitamin C. Vitamin E, there is no vitamin that in aloe vera. Now, if they, what does that mean? If the, the plant has all vitamins and you give them to your buds, it means the buds improve the immune system. One thing, improve the immune system, they will fight against diseases. We fight against diseases such as gumboro. This gumboro disease is a, is a, a, viral, a viral disease, and such a disease kills over 50% of your flock. So, with aloe vera, you are not bad. Though. The aloe vera leaves, give it to your buds they eat it or they drink it in the water then you're good to go the research shows that aloe vera has over 75 percent minerals in it those minerals include phosphorus calcium copper iron zinc and many others so those minerals once they are in the uh, once they're in any plant or in any feed it means you not go waste your money to go and buy them in the market so why do you ignore aloe vera it cuts cut the cost of feeds, cut the cost of your drugs for the farm. And again, it is organic. Let us go organic. Because whenever we eat anything that is organic, you improve on your health. And, and of course, when your health is good, you're headed for money. You need the money with the life. Instead of going to these things cause us cancer, no. Let us try always to fight and put organic things in our farm. You can see, you can see that these birds enjoy more when there's this water, this, this is already aloe vera juice, aloe vera drink. So they enjoy it, they enjoy it seriously. When we finish preparing it, we give it the buds, and this is done every Saturday or every Sunday, at least once a week. So once you give your buds this, we have shared what, what happens. So I either put in the feeds, I crush, crush it so badly, crush it so bad until they are so small, small particles, put them in their feeds, as small as as a particle of maize bran. Or you can crush it, you blend it, you put it in the water. But once you put it in the water, it is so bitter, they don't like it. So what you do, you should have to put in the feeds, it is better than the feeds. So I apply it every week, don't mean it's put too much. Other major ingredients in aloe vera include enzymes. So once, once the enzymes are, are found in a plant, and the plant is given to a bird, it means the, the, the bird will help will be helped to break down that food that it eats. And once the food is broken down, if it is a layer bird, if it is a broiler bird, there is growth or there is good laying of eggs. A healthy bird, a healthy production, and a healthy owner. You go to the bank. Where else can you find such a plant like aloe vera that has an antioxidant, that is antifungal, antimicrobial, antiviral where, where can you find such a plant you treating Newcastle you treating Gumboro 
you treat fowl pox, you treat coccidiosis, or diseases that come from fungi, caused by fungi, and affecting your birds can be prevented if you apply aloe vera in your poultry farm. Aloe vera is good at treating foot dermatitis or bumble foot. This is a disease that goes under the feet of a bird and it becomes like a stump. It becomes like a, like it becomes a wound under the feet. So under the feet there, you 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 apply the aloe vera gel. You apply there every time, every morning, every evening, at least for five days, and the wound will go. Because this is something that gets that is, that comes as an infection. And you don't, don't don't only apply aloe vera. You should also try to know that this is caused by bad hygiene, poor hygiene. Clean up your chicken coop, clean up your poultry house, ensure that hygiene is the key at your farm. Otherwise, aloe vera is good, but also supplemented by hygiene. We have seen aloe vera is, is a medicine, it is a feed, it is a supplement, and it is a preventive measure. Now, how do you apply it? How do you apply aloe vera in your farm? Sometimes you can use it as powder. You can crush it, Cut it, crush it, dry it in the house. Once you crush and dry it in the house, it means you are trying to keep that chlorophyll in it. Should it dry it in a direct sunshine, put it in the house, dry it there or under any shade, dry it there, then you apply it in the feeds. If you're making 10 kilos of, 10 kilos of feeds, you are going to put 0.3% of the feed. Let us say you're doing 10 kilos of feeds. How much do you put? Put just 0.3 kilograms of the feed. Because we are talking about 0.3% of the 10 kilos now if you want to put it into liquid form you can crush the powder or you put in a blender but of course if you don't have a blender don't never worry just buy a motor crush it locally then you put in the water but what i know the, the, the thing is so bitter you know i was testing it and i you see my mouth is still oh because if you test if you test this aloe vera trust me you need to brush your teeth about the bad so Please, you know the birds will drink the water because it is bitter. So apply it in the feeds, better in the feeds. And of course, if you put in the water, it means you can need to put something like maybe sugar or glucose. But that is expensive for nothing. Apply in the feeds and, and this aloe vera is enough. Because of course, it has all the enzymes, it has all the glucose. You're good to grow. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, you know, I'm almost becoming a teacher. What are the major properties? Or what are the major ingredients in the aloe vera? I told you already, the vitamins are there. I've not talked about enzymes. Once you give your birds aloe vera, the enzymes in it make your birds crush the sugars and the fats. When the fats are crushed, the, the, the bird gets that metabolic process done and the digestive system gone. It means your bird will get fat, will lay enough eggs, will have peace, and depression is gone. Another, another ingredient in aloe vera could be, we can talk of saccharides. These saccharides are very important in our ingredients of feeds. Again, of course, when we talk about saccharides, you can't forget to say that aloe vera improves the weight gain of a bird. So, if you're in broiler keeping, broiler farming, why don't you include aloe vera? Because aloe vera is cheap and is readily available. Aloe vera grows in any location, be it in a desert, be it in a swamp, be it in a town setup, in a container, in a jug, be it near the kitchen, be it near the church, near the mosque, aloe vera grows. You don't need to spray it, you don't need to weed it, it is just a plant, God-given plant. And you know what? We are ignoring this God-given plant. Even if it was to be you, the person, drinking it, you're good to go. Our birds must enjoy this. After enjoying it, you enjoy your way to the bank. If you include, if you include aloe vera in your feeds, your birds will not have diolea. And if you don't have diolea, there is, that means there is almost hygiene in your farm. Because of poor hygiene, our birds always get coccidiosis. And since this aloe vera controls diolea, improves the health condition of your bird, Cosdiosis is gone directly. The mighty aloe vera. If you give your birds aloe vera, my brother, my sister, my mother, my father, my grandparents, I assure you, you are kicking out Gumboro from your farm. 
This gumboro is a disease which has which causes diarrhea and the birds. It is a disease that causes depression. It is caused by a virus because this this plant has an it is an antioxidant. It is able to kick out any virus, any viral disease, and also it improves the immune system. It imp it has the vitamins which give the immune system of a bird. It kicks out such gumboro disease. Yes, this plant, the mighty plant, is very good. For stress, it is a stress reliever in birds. It controls depression. Once you give them, when you give it to your birds, they sleep well and they able to change from environment to environment. If it is a rainy season, going to a dry season, give them aloe vera so that they go cross from season to season when they are happy and not stressed. We can't forget to talk about infectious coryza. I think you know that disease. Don't confuse infectious coryza with fallpox. It has that discharge from the nose, from the mouth, and from the eyes. So infectious coryza, once you clean up the nose, clean up the mouth of the bird, clean up the eyes, you at least apply the gel. I should do the gel. Apply this gel on the eye. You clean it up. Instead of buying tetracycline, instead of giving antibiotics, just apply the gel every day. For only 10 days, and you're done. Every 70 days. I give aloe vera. By the way, if you have 500 layers, this plant is enough for every week. You cut for them every week one plant. So it means you have about 50 plants in your garden to give one 500 birds. If you have only 20 birds, you only need one plant. That's why I told you, this plant can grow in a smaller garden, on a big garden, on a rock, in the, in the desert. Whatever, this is aloe vera, God given. So, Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a good being within this video. Thanks for watching. We we'll meet in another video. I remain Katap's farm. And if you've never subscribed, please click that button. Subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video that comes out. And share, like, comment. Mwah.